Welcome back, my math party people. Anderson here, your math coach, and let's get to it today. So my question to you is, does that intimidate you? Does having to factor not just a regular old polynomial, but a polynomial where the leading coefficient, so that first number, isn't just blank, isn't just a one. Does this intimidate you? Because if so, then you're in for a treat in this video. I wanna show you exactly how to take care of this. It's called the AC method for polynomial factoring. I got your back. So let's go ahead and get to it here. So if you wanna learn more about the program, go ahead, pause the video and get my number right there. Shoot me a text, let me know what your name is, what your situation is, and I'm happy to help you out. All right, I'm here to help you succeed, so go ahead and reach out if you want that success. So with that, let's go ahead, let's have some ASVAB fun. So factor the following trinomial, 10x squared plus 13xy minus 3y squared. That doesn't look like a lot of fun, huh? Not a lot of fun. But we can break this down actually into a few easier steps. So here's how the AC method works. Let me go ahead and write this out over here. AC method. So here's how this works, my party people. The AC method, step one, what you're going to do, step one, what you're going to do is you're going to factor AC. So what does that mean? Well, let me actually not use a slash. Let me just do that. Factor AC. What does that all mean? Well, right here. The standard form of all of this is going to be this. A, B, C. The numbers in front of the first, second, and third set of variables, there it is. So typically, it's going to be A, x squared plus bx plus c typically that that's what it's going to look like um but if you have another variable involved like a y it makes it slightly different but i wouldn't say exactly harder and i'll show you right now before we continue just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video and all i ask is that you please like comment and subscribe to the channel that way more people just like you can see these videos but on top of that if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. So step one is gonna be find the factors of A times C. So 10 and negative three. Step two, is gonna be this. So don't worry about actually solving it, just follow the steps. Step two is gonna be find the factors that add to B. So factor AC and then find factors. So find the pair that adds to B. And I'll use a different color here. I'll use blue and that's where this will be, 13. So find the factor pair that adds to B. So once you factor AC and you find the pair that adds to B, what you'll do is then split. So split, factor, factor. So SFF, split, factor, factor again, and you're done. So that last step might sound confusing and it is arguably the most confusing step, but stick through the whole video. This is where we're gonna find our success. So again, remember, the way I teach is I try, to, I try to teach in a very intuitive way that makes sense. And then with the practice that you'll have beyond this, then you'll continue building that confidence and comfort. So with that said, let's get to it here. Step one, we said we are going to factor AC. So what does that mean? Well, we are going to take A and C and multiply them. So step one, A times C, 10 times negative three, that's going to be negative 30. All right. So what are the factors of negative 30? Let me zoom in here a little bit. What are the factors of negative 30? So the factors of negative 30, those pairs are going to be 1 and 30, 2 and 15, because 2 times 15 does make 30, 3 times 10, and also 5 times 6. 
So we have these four pairs that we can work with. But remember, what we need here is to find the pair that adds to B. And also what we have to consider is this. It's not a positive 30, it's a negative 30. It's a negative 30. So what that means is one of these numbers has to be negative and the other pair, on that pair, has to be positive. The only way you can multiply to a negative, think about it, a positive times a positive is a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. So if they're both positive, won't work. Both negative, won't work. You have to have a mix because a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive, whichever order, that multiplies to a negative and we're achieving negative 30. It's those little details that you really have to pay attention to. And that's why I'm really making sure to, again, just emphasize these points here so that way we can find that success. So again, one has to be positive, one has to be negative. And if you have to find the pair that adds to B, well, what's B? B is a positive 13. So if, you're, if you have one positive, one negative, that gives you a positive 13, it makes sense to me that the bigger number's positive, the smaller number's negative. Because if you reversed it, if you have a big negative and a small positive, when you add them, that's gonna be negative. Think about it, like two minus 100. Two is positive, negative 100 is negative. That's gonna be a really negative number. So to get a positive, a positive 13, we need a big positive, small negative. So basically, we're subtracting. Which of these has a difference of 13? One and 30? No, that's 29. Two and 15? 13, right there, right there. That's the pair that'll work. Because think about it, if you do 15 minus two, 13. 10 minus three, seven. If you're thinking add them, 10 plus three, that's not gonna work. Because again, one needs to be positive, one needs to be negative. There's no way you can do that with three and 10 to get 13. If it was a seven X, why, maybe, but it's not gonna work. Five and six adds up to 11, you subtract them, you get one, not gonna work either. Not gonna work. So here, this works out, we'll have a positive 15 and a negative two. Positive 13 and a negative two. So we found the pair, we've completed step two, there's the pair that works. Boom, positive 15 and a negative two. So what do we do now? Well, here we go. This is where the hard part comes in. We are going to split, factor, and factor again. That's how we're gonna get our answer. So step three here, starting off with the splitting. What does that mean? All we're doing is this. We are going to rewrite the original problem, rewrite the original, rewrite the first step, rewrite the last one, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we are going to simply, and let me go ahead and get rid of this for a brief moment, that way I have more space to work with. We are going to split that 13xy into this, into plus 15xy minus 2xy. So just pause for a moment and ask yourself, what did we just do? We split it into the two pairs, or the pair. <laughs> so here we have 15xy minus 2xy. Does that not go right back to 13xy? Yep, it does. It makes sense. All we did was, again, split this into these two. Now, the next step is to go ahead and factor, and then factor again. Here's what I mean by that. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you, and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. Now on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now, and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. What I mean by this is we can go ahead and actually take the factors of this. And then let me move this over. And I'm gonna write a plus symbol here. And then we're also gonna find the factors of this over here. So what do I mean by that? Factor it, what do you mean? All you're gonna do is, again, factoring means pull the number that they both have in common, right? Pull the, the number, the variable, whichever one, pull what they both have in common. So let's focus here on the first part. What can go into both 10 and 15? Well, what can go into both 10 and 15? That will be five 
because five can go into both 10 and 15. And I also notice that there's an x squared here and an x there. They share at least one x. So we can take that x out. And so if we rewrite what's on the inside now, and so if you're looking at this and you're confused, you need to learn how to factor polynomials. Because by learning how to factor the basics, then you can work on this. So here we have, if we pull out the five and pull out the x from the 10x squared, we are gonna have a two, because 10 divided by five is two. X squared, take away one of those x's, is two x. Next, what do we have? Well, same thing. Take out the five from 15, you get three. Take out the x from the xy, you're just left with y. Now, this is gonna be very important. That's gonna come into convenience. This is a very easy way to check your work as you're working. Remember that black part right there, 2x plus 3y. So let's go over here real quick. What can we pull out of this? What I notice is that they're both negative. They're both negative, so I'm gonna pull out a negative. Then do they share a number? Two and three, they don't share anything. So we can pull out a negative. And then we have xy and we have y squared. We can pull out a y. So I'll pull out a negative y, a minus y. But then I'll go ahead and rewrite the inside by taking away the negative. Take away those negatives, you have a positive. Take away the y right there. So you took away the negative and took away the y. You have 2x. Next, over here, you took away the negative, you took away the y, you're left with plus three, and then y squared, take away one of those y's, you have a y. Do you notice anything familiar? This is how you know you're good to go. When you see that you have right here, the same insides for both of those splits. When you split and you factor, you should have the same exact binomial in both, the same exact terms in both, same exact. That's how you know you're on the right track. And so the last step is gonna be this. We split over here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just actually zoom back in a little bit. We split, we factored, and now we will factor again. What do we mean by that? Well, the two X plus three Y, guess what? Those are both appearing in both of these blobs. So we'll take the two X plus three Y and we'll factor it out of all of it. We'll factor it out of all of it. And then what do we have left inside? Well, what we have left inside is 5x minus y. And there it is. That is the final answer, and we are done. And if you need to check your work, all you need to do is perform the binomial distribution. Spread out, you know, distribute, 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 add it back together, and I can guarantee you, you'll get back to the original question. Absolutely. But our answer will be 2x plus 3y times 5x minus y. And you can reverse the order either way. The 5x minus y can come first. The 2x plus 3y can come second. That'll work out just fine. Just fine. And the answer will be A. And so with that said, my party people, I really, really sincerely hope that this makes sense. Um, it's definitely one of the hardest topics for math knowledge. Definitely is. So you want to make sure that you rewatch this if needed. But also remember that if you want more help with this, I have plenty of problems on this. So if you want to shoot me a text here, my name is Anderson, Coach Anderson, and I'm happy to help you raise your score. And so again, reach out to me. My number is 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you in the very, very least. And then comment your favorite part if it did help you. I got your back and I want you to have mine. Let's keep basing the ASVAB and I will see you in class. I'll see you then. My Porter people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.